Hello, everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. I hope my voice is coming good and clear. Please inform me if you have any difficulty in the text. Uh, before we start talking today, you know, we know that Muhammad, uh, uh, he is a scientist, and his God is obviously, uh, he knows everything, and uh, obviously science is learning from the Quran every day. And, uh, you know, as you know, uh, Islam is the source of every science in the world. I mean, there's nothing discovered or yet to be discovered, but it's not already been taught by Islam. Uh, so today I'm going to refer, uh, to answer somebody. He said, uh, can you debunk this? Uh, I don't know even why I need to debunk this, because this is the most stupid statement ever I heard from somebody claim that there is a science in the Quran. It's going to take you two seconds to know that this is not, nothing but a scam. If you search this title in, uh, in YouTube, uh, you know, we know that Muslims, they, they, they spread videos everywhere, like all over, like like crazy. Uh, they copy each They are copy-paste nation. But nobody want to check out what this is about. Is it really true? If there's anything legitimate inside, or it's just a scam? It is a, nothing but a pure stupid scam. You see, there's a smart scam, and there is a stupid scam. And this is the one that goes under very, very stupid scam. I'm not going to play the video which Muslims they made because they will claim, you know, they will claim copyright over it, you know the game. But let us see together uh, an article about this uh, thing. It's a short article and the Muslim they are making supposedly Allah, he discovered things. Sirius is the bright star in the night sky, appears in uh, as a shower, meaning star, in the verse 49 of Surah An-Najm. He it is uh, uh, that it is he who the Lord of series, Ashara, Surat al Najm, verse number 49. The fact that, actually, let me, let me make the text bigger so you guys can read with me. Sorry for that. Not making it bigger for you. Hold on. Let us see how we can make it bigger. Yeah. All right. That's how we will. Uh, yeah. hmm. Part of the text is gone. Uh, anyway, uh, let us make it a smaller. I look like if I move the, the mouse now, this is new for me, okay. I, I don't know if it's clear for you guys. Uh, I'm afraid if I make it bigger, it's going to make, uh, make me lose control of the page. Uh, read with me carefully, please. This is the most important article as it is. This is exactly what they say in the video, so we will not miss anything. That is he who the Lord of Sirius, Shara, Surah al Najm, verse number 49. The fact that the word Sirius or Shara in Arabic appears only in the 49th verse is particularly not worthy because, based in uh, blah blah blah, Sirius orbit, scientists discover that it's actually a, a, a binary star, therefore, Sirius, Sirius actually. Uh, is two stars known as series as A and B. One future of series B is that it cannot be seen by telescope. The star series system follow course toward one another in the shape of ball and hang on the sky by approaching one another every 49.9 years. These scientific data, data have been and uh, uh, unusually confirmed by astronomer, etc. Department. Sorry, I have a dog here is saying hello to you guys. Uh, uh, Department of uh, University of Harvard, Ottawa, blah, 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 blah. But what does it have to do with the Quran? Let us see. That it is he who is the Lord of series. Chapter of Legend verse 49. Okay. He was two ball longs away, even a closer, certain Najim verse number nine. Mm. So now, as long as has discovered that those uh, uh, stars, both they gather together in a whatever, uh, in, a, in a course of every 49.9. So now we have two things in the same chapter. Certain Najim, which means the star, verse 49, it says he is the Lord, the Lord of Sirius. Okay. And then it says he, 
was two ball length away or even closer. And read me carefully. The term can I be what what is that? This is Arabic? I, I'm not I'm not able to read it. Sorry. This is a very funny Arabic. In the verse 9 of Surat al Najm, translated two ball length away, even a closer, maybe. And I love it when the science of Islam referred to maybe. Have you ever heard of religion based on maybe? I mean, this is science or this is maybe? Maybe reference to those two stars drawing closer to one another in their courses. Allah knows the truth. You see, this is a disclaimer. Here, the Muslim is saying to you, I am a liar and I'm going to make a disclaimer. Maybe it refers to those, to the two stars. But if we go to the verse, we will find that this is a reference to Allah. The one who came down and he was so close, it is Allah, the Lord of Muhammad. This is not something else. Hold on, I have to open the door, the, the door for the door. You want to get out? All right, sorry guys. Uh, the enemy of Allah, he needed to get out. Uh, so, it looked like he could not handle, the, you know, speaking about Allah in the Quran, so he decided to leave. Uh, if we go and read the verse here, the, the chapter of Anajim, verse number nine, is it really speaking about the star? I mean, how shameful, or let's say people who, who have no shame, is those who spread this lie. This is about the God of Muhammad who came down. The Muslim is even some of them, they say it is Jibreel, but the Quran says it clearly, his Lord. It says even in front of us, in their own translation, it says he was too bold. I mean, have you ever heard of a star? We call him he. In which language we call the star he? When you Abdul? Hmm? When you translate Muslims to English, if this is about a star, shouldn't you say it, it was? Do you say to the star, he, nice to meet you, he star? Maybe this is Michael Jackson because he is a star too. I mean, who is the stupid here and who is the mad here is going to believe in such a lie? It is he. If we go right now in the front of your eyes, chapter of an Najm, verse number 49 and verse number 9. Let us read together. Oh, buddy. <clears throat> All right. This is the chapter we are talking about, chapter 53, verse number 49. I'm going to click at the translation so nobody will say I am making. You can choose any translation you want. All right. And we will go back to verse number nine. This is verse number nine in front of us. It says, by the star when it is set, and this is a mistake, nobody will accept it unless he is a Abdul, because the stars does not set. But the fact doesn't say set. It says the star when he failed. So Muhammad, he think that what we call Mitor, he think they are foreign stars. This is how we stupid the God of Islam. So the first verse is a scientific error because there's no star fail. Farewell, fail in the earth. We're talking about stars. Muhammad, he is sitting in the earth. He sees stars failing down in the earth. Let's it, 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 it change the translation. We go to verse number one. Do you see? By the star when it goes down. Go down where? In Muhammad. Muhammad is the one who's making the Quran. Have you ever heard of a star going down? What do you mean going down? Going down where? If there is down and up in, in, the, in the universe, I mean, what is down and what is up? This, this is stupid. Down is for me if I am underneath of something. But the earth itself now is facing this direction after 12 hours going to be facing other direction which means what is down now is going to be up after 12 hours <laughs> so what is down and what is up so by the star when it goes down and what kind of god he, he he makes such an oath by a star going down and how he believed that the stars are going down the stars are not going down 
Star doesn't go down, doesn't go up. What are you talking about? And then, uh, supposedly Muhammad here, he thinks this the 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 what he see by eyes. Those are stars fading, but those are meteor. But he, this is how ignorant uh, Muhammad is, and he claimed that the one who speak here is Allah. Then, the the verses continue. It says, nor does he speak in his own desire. Supposedly, this is about Muhammad. Muhammad is making verses here because for some time he stopped having verses, Quran, etc. So Muhammad, he told them, Allah told me I did not go astray and he did not do error. Simply, and I don't speak of my own desire. It is only revelation revealed. How revealed? Let's see how it's revealed. Here he continues, he says, while Jibreel was in the highest part of the horizon, Tafsir ibn Kathir. By the way, nowhere in the verse it says Jibreel. This is a big fat lie. This is a big fat lie. What is Jibreel there? It says it clearly. If you go down, you will see. It says his Lord. Is Jibreel the Lord of Muhammad? You Muslims, do you worship Jibreel? If we go to the Arabic Quran, this is why I say to you, you cannot learn Islam from any Islamic translation for it is nothing but a scam. If we go to the Quran in Arabic, The one who taught him is the Almighty with the strength. The Murratin is a stawa. Let's go down. And then it says, And verse number 10. You see, they quote for you verse 9, but they will not tell you what verse 10 says because verse 10 is going to expose them and get them busted. If this is about verse 9, if it's about they became two bow and distance, and this is about the two stars, but this is about the Lord who is coming to Muhammad who came so close and he was almost to down to bow. And it says here, and so and then he inspired Muhammad. What he inspired is the star who inspired Muhammad. Is the star a star is the Lord of Muhammad? If we change the translation, look how the translation changed. Let us go to the scam of Yusuf Ali because all of them they are scammers anyway. If we go on Yusuf Ali, read. And it uh, and was at distance. Then he approached and came closer. He, have you ever a star? He, and approach who? Approach Muhammad. Are you Muslim saying that the star series approached Muhammad and he was a distance of two balls from him? And it was at a, a distance of two ball uh, uh, length or even nearer. So did Allah convey his inspiration to his servant? First of all, it doesn't say so Allah. It doesn't say that. It says, and he did convey or convey. Sorry, uh, his his uh, uh, his and uh, to his slave, to his servant, to his slave, uh, uh, his uh, his revelation. And look how the Muslims they made from something about supposedly what is called Allah. In the Muslim interpretations, they say this is Jibril came down suddenly. Jibril or Allah doesn't matter became the star series and then this is okay here it says a distance of two ball and this is verse number nine if we go to verse number 49 this is the chapter speaking about Ashura, the, 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 the star series so here we go we have 49 we have nine and this is exactly what science is <laughs> And this is why here in the claim, the Muslim, they say, it may be, I like it when the Muslims, they say, it may be. And by the way, the one who said that, the one who come with those uh, scientific theory, he's right now in jail. His name is Harun Yahya, and he was arrested by Erdogan. <laughs> I'm drinking coffee if somebody wants some, you know. Uh, Thank you, Lord. I'm able to drink coffee. Uh, for some time, I was not able. Maybe, maybe Allah was trying to stop me from drinking coffee, but He could not. Uh, so maybe it reference to those two stars drawing closer one to another. But this is it's not about two objects. It's about the Lord of Muhammad and the Muslim. They say it is Jibril, 
and he is getting closer to Muhammad and then he conveyed to him his inspiration the star became the God of Muhammad the star series appear in the Surah called a Najm meaning the star the stars comprising series approach one another where it says there's two stars in the verse and there it says Rabbu Ishara and you know if we go to the interpretation for this verse by the way it shows us that Muhammad is nothing but a pagan man because this verse and I want to say thank you for the Muslim for mentioning this if we go to chapter uh, uh, 53 verse number 49 you will see that this is about Muhammad approving the pagan saying that my God is the same as your God he is the God of Ashara Ashara this is why one of the names of Muhammad, he, they used to call him Abu Shara. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> so he was called by that name because simply his God was Ashara. So he was telling them, my God is the same as your God, is the God of Ashara. If we go to the interpretation, let us go. Let's show you, I'm not making things up. Chapter 53, verse number 49. We go to Tafsir. And as you see, this is the Muslim interpretation. I have, I have nothing to do with it. You know, don't don't blame me for the stupidity there. Uh, by the way, there's a Muslim Abdul. He said, uh, you know, a Christian prince, he have the authority of uh, uh, to know about Islam, but yet he do not know that Adha does not come after Ramadan. <laughs> Abdul, Adha is an action, is not a day. And because you make it in a certain day, it's called the day of Allah. And in fact, Ramadan, you Muslims, you slaughter in Ramadan and the end of Ramadan more than you slaughter what you call Adha by, by your own standard. So you do Adha twice in your holiday, you idiot. Adha at the end of Ramadan and Adha at the end of what you called uh, uh, the, the big uh, Eid, the, the day of uh, Abraham, which you are trying to copy from the Jews. And here you do movies and that it he it is he is the lord of series this is a star laying beyond consultation uh of a, a jimny which was worshipped in the time of the pagan people they used to worship the star the lord of this star so muhammad he is saying to them my god is your god he is the lord of series those people they Worship that God by looking at Ceres because he's a shiny star. But you see here, there's nowhere mentioning that there's two stars. It's called Ceres. It's mentioned only one because this is what people can see by the naked eye. And this is what the Arabs saw and this is what they worship. And Muhammad himself, he worshiped with them. And he, he himself, he was called by that name. If we try to go to some interpretation in Arabic, actually, let us see some other uh, uh, English translation before we go anywhere. And it is he who is the Lord of Ceres, which was worshipped by Khuza, the tribe of Khuza. All right. If we go to the Arabic interpretation, we will see that interpretation getting bigger. Look how small here in English. You see, in English trans uh, translation for interpretation, uh, the interpretation shrink. It's like it loses ninety percent of its weight. Sometimes even ninety-five. Sometimes even ninety-nine. So if you go now in Arabic to tr to read interpretation for the same verse. We go to Arabic and we choose at tabari Let us see what at tabari will say. Hmm. Uh, here we go. All right, all right, all right, all right. Now there's three pages here. You see, in the English, it says one page. It's And look why they call it here. They call it Kaukab, Kaukab, which means a planet. And then he says, from, 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 it says that this is the Kaukab, which is beyond uh, what it's called Al Jawza. I don't know what to, how to translate Al Jawza. Guys, are you losing? Uh, are you are you losing the screen from my, your side? I hope the the internet will be good. And they used to worship him. All right. All right. So 
all what Muhammad is saying in this verse have nothing to do with what the Muslims are claiming. Those are the Arab they worship. This is star. Muhammad saying to him, My God is the same as your God. He is the Lord of Ceres, or Lord of Ashara. Same time, this is one of the names he used to be called by. You know, people they they, they give him titles. Uh, if you read, like there is there is more and more interpretation here, but it's the same, or even they are saying the same. Uh, you know, people they worship him, blah blah blah, etc. You know, uh, uh, there is and there is endless interpretation for this uh, uh, this verse, but you will not find any Muslim ever come to interpretation that this is scientifically verse about science. And nowhere it says it's mentioned or speak about two stars. It's only one star. It's called Ashara. And this star is worshipped. And Muhammad is saying to them, he is claiming that the Lord of the Shara, he came down and he spoke to him by inspiration. He conveyed to him all the inspiration by coming down. Now, as we know, Aisha, she said that no one saw Allah. And whoever saw the say the prophet saw Allah saw his Lord, he is a liar. You can search this hadith in Sahih Bukhari. Uh, but the verses in the Quran say clearly that this is must be his God. Why? Because if you read with me here carefully, if we go down to verse number nine and after. You see, even the Muslims here in the translation, they put between two brackets. So did Allah convey the inspiration to his servant? So let us let us say, take it for like a little uh, slower than before. If this is the star series as the Muslims claim, what the star series have to do with coming down to Muhammad to convey inspiration? Because you see, the Muslims in their video, they say to you, and it was a distance of two bow length or even nearer. But this is a distance from Muhammad, not a distance from each other, two stars. If we go and check in the interpretation, the same chapter, the same verse, let us go there. Let us go there and see. A chapter 53, verse number nine. Let's go to Ibn Kathir. <clears throat> In Ibn Kathir, we will find some answers. Whatever the, whatever the Muslims say, I, I, I'm not going to say uh, this is not a true. You know, let's see if this is true or not. They will expose each other. Okay, this is 53, 53. All right, here we go. Okay. He is mighty in power. He is Jibreel. Peace upon him. So in the video, they made the one who came down or getting close is two stars in the interpretation it is Jibreel. So based on this, if we merge the video Muslims they made about the scientific miracle and we merge the interpretation of the Muslim scholars, that will make us believe that Jibreel was a star. <laughs> and his name is Sirius. <laughs> This is verily, really, this is the world most honorable messenger, honor, power with Allah. I mean, have you ever heard of a prophet, his God, he say, this is the most powerful, honorable messenger? <laughs> it remind me like when somebody apply for a job, he, they ask him to, to bring a recommendation. <laughs> so what Muhammad he do, he go home and he write recommendation by his hand and he says, I am recommended by Allah. I am the most honorable messenger. <laughs> and why you are honorable? Muhammad is honorable to the point he went to his own son house and he flirted with his own son wife. And then he slept with her. He is honorable to the point he have sex with a child. He is honorable to the point he kidnapped people from their houses and he raped their women. He is honorable to the point he was fighting with the Muslims and the Muslims accused him of stealing underwear. He is honorable to the point that they accuse him not to be the son of his father because his mother, she gave birth to him four years after his father's death. I mean, I don't know how much honorable he is, but obviously he is so much honorable. And all of this, he is the trustworthy. There in the verse, it says, Dhu murra. Dhu murra. What does that mean? Meaning he is mighty in power. Look like in Islam, Ceres is more mighty than Allah. All right. According to Mujahid, 
Hassan, in authentic hadith, remember with me, this is authentic hadith. Later, the Muslim they say it's weak. Uh, let us read. While he was in the highest part of the horizon, Abdul, Abdul, in the horizon, the star series was in the horizon. I mean, do you know how far the horizon? What horizon? <laughs> Meaning Jibreel rose to the highest part of the horizon, according to Ikrama and several others. Ikrama said the highest horizon where morning comes from. Mujahid said it is the place of sunrise. Qatada said that is which day comes. <laughs> what a comedy show. All right. Imam Ahmad recorded that Abdullah ibn Mas'ud said the messenger of Allah saw Jibreel in his original shape having 600 wings. Here we go. So now we discover that this star series have 600 wings. I'm not going to ask Muhammad how he was able to count the wings. I mean, the guy he appeared in the sky for maybe a second or two. Muhammad, he was able to count his wings, 600. Okay. Uh, this, this is me and Jibril. He have 300 wings in the left side and uh, 300 wings in the right side. But how Jibril, who is an angel with 600 wings, in the science of Islam today became a star. His name is Ceres. And this is about two stars coming together. Any Muslim have an explanation? I will tell you how. Because Islam is a bankrupt religion. And this is why we make articles and we make a disclaimer saying, maybe it may be a reference to those two stars drowning closer to one to another in their courses. Da -da -da -da. I mean, this is amazing. This is so beautiful. I don't know how many of you is convinced now that Islam is full of science. And Muslims are trustworthy to listen to them and to believe in their articles and their videos. If you watch this video, guys, you will think it's made by NASA. I mean, look, 49.9. I mean, this is amazing. This is science. This is a pure science. Are you kidding me? <laughs> you know, I want to say to the Muslims who come with this idea about those uh, miracles, I want to say here, it may be that you are a donkey who think we are donkeys like you. Do we? Are we? It's obviously speaking about either Allah or the angel Jibreel who came down. And all the Muslims in the world teach that in their schools. So why in videos they provide such a lie and spread it around when they themselves don't believe in it? If you read the comments about those videos, you will not believe how much Muslims praising Allah for this scientific miracle, brother. And look what I wrote for them. I say to them, stupid video, watch my video and love, false Quran explanation. Here, a guy, his name is Raja Zubair, he said, then which in the favor of your Lord you will you deny? I mean, how you can deny the science? How can you? Huh? How, how dare you? See, the Muslims, they, they, they are like, uh, wow. How you can deny the science? Can you deny the science? Is it clear, clear like the, 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 the bright sun? Uh, let us see. <clears throat> A guy here is answering somebody. He said, A lot of taken from the Bible. Ha ha. Excuse me, but which Bible? There is four different Bibles. <laughs> I like it when a Muslim he make a comment. Supposedly, this guy he squeezed himself and he come with this comment. Abdul, according to your prophet, there is seven Quran. So according to which Quran you are answering me? We have four Bibles by four writers, but this is will not make them, you know, not acceptable because those Bibles are in match with each other. You know, when I am, let us say, I am right now. Uh, speaking to many. Uh, I don't know how many people watching the video right now. And then every one of them, he made a summary or he uh, he tell people what Christian Prince he said in this video. Every one of them heard the same word exactly as I said, but every writer, he's have, he have his own way of writing and he have his own way in delivery. So all of them, they are reporting the same story. 
in their own way. And we believe as a Christian that those Christians, those apostles, they've been blessed by God to be able to write and deliver the messages. In the case of Muslims, when the Muslims, they say to us, we have a Quran, which Quran you have? Even the Quran, the most popular Quran exists between Muslims, which Muslims receive for free from Saudi Arabia, from the money of the oil. It is not even the Quran of, uh, of Uthman. This is the Quran of Hafs. Actually, if we go right now, uh, I, made a, I made a post before. Uh, you can go, let me see if I can find it for you. Uh, you can go to, uh, to my page in uh, Patreon and you will find a post. I made it there, an image for uh, uh, the, the first page in the Quran, which is page number A. This is at the end, not at the beginning. It's page number A in Arabic. It says that this Quran is according to, according to, according to, according to. As long as it's according to. Now, which Quran you are talking about? Hafs, the one who is according to, is a person came long after Muhammad, more than 200 years after Muhammad, and he don't have even a book. All of this is according to, which means you don't have a transcript. You see, if you have a book, a transcript, you do not to say, to say according to. So we have a book according to John. You have a book according to who? Let me tell you according to who? According to Hafs, according to Asim, according to Abu Salma, according to blah, 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 according, 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 according to? According to Muhammad. But Hafs never saw Muhammad. Asim never saw Muhammad. The one after him never met Muhammad. So we have generations after generation never met Muhammad. And all of this is nothing but recitation of the Quran. So you don't have a Quran. Same time, Muhammad. If you go in the Hadith, actually, by the way, I have a guest uh, is coming. Uh, many of you will be surprised when you uh, hear his voice. Uh, I think he is already here. Hey, buddy. Come on, come on. Come on. All right, guys. I Actually, I have, uh, I have uh, two uh, dear guests, and uh, uh, I will let them speak to you when they arrive, when they get in. Uh, as you know, I'm traveling right now. I am in a different country. And in a second, you will know where I am. The, the dog is, is welcoming them. <laughs> uh, excuse me. Hey, buddy. Hey. Good to see you. Nice to see you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Here now. <laughs> anyone can anyone can guess who is who is with me here? Anyone speak, say something. Hello guys, here's Amir from uh, ex muslimer Klein auf TV. You know me? From Germany. From Germany. <laughs> yeah, so this is Amir. I'm not going to stay with you for long, but let us do this uh, like just as a as a <laughs> uh, we go back to the topic which is kind of funny. You missed a lot. <laughs> we were talking about the miracle of the two stars series. Okay. Yeah. Amir, this is the first time you see me and he's wondering like uh, this guy, why he looked like this? <laughs> <laughs> I, I never, I never uh, thought that you looked like this. Okay. Yeah, he, 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 he thought I looked like Muhammad, but obviously I don't. <laughs> <laughs> again, again, again. All right. Uh, in the, you know, if you remember, uh, Muhammad, he said, I received the Quran in seven letters. Seven letters, which means we have seven Quran. Now, the Muslims, they keep saying to us, we have one Quran. I say to them, where is the Quran of Muhammad? Nobody can give us an answer. And as you know, Muhammad himself, he said that my people cannot, they are not capable of handling the Quran unless it is seven. And as you see, it's in the front of you, the Hadith, all right? You can read the hadith and you can love yourself. He said, my people would not be able. So my people will not what? Will not be able, able to understand the Quran, to handle the Quran. So you Muslim, you say to us, we have one Quran. When your prophet himself says, my people are not capable of doing it. Unless it is seven. So what is the seven? In the seven, eleven, maybe. Right? So I want to say, guys, I'm not going to stay long because I have, I have guests here waiting for me. They are coming from far away from... 
Thailand. You know. <laughs> From uh, Thailand, yes, from Saudi Arabia. Yeah, so, and actually one of them, he have a long beard. He's got, I, I thought, I am the terrorist. <laughs> Look like he is the terrorist, not me. <laughs> Imagine his beard is longer than me. Actually, I have no beard no more. <laughs> anyway, so guys, I want to say thank you. I want to sit with those wonderful guys who came to see me. And uh, uh, we will try maybe to do podcasts, maybe me and Amir and his brother here maybe tomorrow or whatever time they have mm -hmm. so we, you know we can share a good time together i want to say thank you guys for being here and may the lord bless you and until we we'll see you again soon christ is lord islam is false i mean to that i'll see you soon again <laughs> bye bye take care